This is a quick introduction to the Key In app. In order to be able to open the app first time, you may have to allow the opening or even the app download once in the security section of the system preferences after downloading. Many of the functions in the user interface can also be accessed from the menu bar under Extras. There you can also see the respective shortcut, which is the most practical way to use the application. The size of the main window can be adjusted by pressing the plus key for the large setting and the minus key for the small setting. Hitting the ABC button or triggering N on your computer keyboard displays the note names on the keys as a jumpstart. Additional audio monitoring can be activated by clicking the audio button or triggering A on your computer keyboard. You can choose between an internal sound source, this is the internal synthesizer on a Macintosh computer, and an external sound source. This can be any MIDI instrument in a DAW running in the background or a connected hardware MIDI instrument such as an electric piano. It is recommended in any case to select an external sound source for better sound quality. Let's start with the sight reading part, indicated as visual. By pressing the play button or hitting the space bar on your computer keyboard, a note of random pitch can be generated. Now this note should be determined on the keyboard display. Alternatively, the chosen note can be played on a connected MIDI keyboard. If your choice is correct, the term right will light up in green letters and the value of the green digit will be added by one. If the note is incorrect, the term wrong will light up in red letters and the value of the red digit will be added by 1. The additional flashing color can be turned off by clicking the color button or triggering K on your computer keyboard. You can reset the counter by pressing the reset button or the X key on the computer keyboard. If you want to get the resolution of the note to be determined, press the solve key or the S key on the computer keyboard. The octave range of the notes to be determined can be precisely defined. By clicking and dragging the black line, the octave range can be extended or reduced. Please note that the note designation is following the international pitch notation rather than the MIDI standard, which means C4 equals a middle C. Furthermore, it is possible to determine the requested note in any of the octave ranges or choosing the exact octave mode, which has but one possible solution. You can choose whether you want to determine only the notes of the white keys, that means the notes of C major, that do not contain accidentals, or whether you want to include the entire chromatic scale. An auto trigger function will generate new notes and three different speed modes. The oral mode switches to the ear training section of the application. Most of the functions concerning the ranges, accidentals and the auto trigger can be operated the same way as in visual mode. Now pressing the play button or hitting the spacebar on your computer keyboard will generate a note which is only audible and which should be determined on the keyboard display or on your MIDI keyboard by ear. If you want to hear the same note again for another attempt if you're wrong, or even before you start determining, press repeat or press the R key on the computer keyboard. If you want to listen to the previous note instead, press PREV or press the P key on the computer keyboard. This reference note will now be displayed as an additional help. It is possible at any point to play the reference note of middle C by clicking on the corresponding button, respectively on C on the computer keyboard, for orientation purposes. Here again you can reset the counter by pressing the reset button or the X key on the computer keyboard. If you want to get the resolution of the note to be determined, press the solve key or the S key on the computer keyboard. By clicking on the question mark link, all functions and shortcuts are available as an overview.